Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to install Windows 8.1 on a Mac running OS X Mavericks. Okay guys, so uh, you know, I've done a, a, a previous video on how to upgrade OS X Mavericks and also do a clean install from a USB. Uh, if you wanted to find those uh, videos and many more, you can find them on the 123MyIT website. So open up a Safari window, type in 123myit.com and you will actually be able to find uh, all those videos and more on the 123MyIT website. Okay, so if you type just in the top search bar there, you can type in Mavericks. All right, and if you scroll down, you'll see how to do a clean install of OS X Mavericks from USB, how to do an upgrade of, uh, of uh, OS X Mavericks from Mountain Lion to Mavericks, and how to create a beautiful Mavericks USB drive. All right, so have a, have a bit of a look through those. Um, but this tutorial is uh, how to uh, install Windows 8.1 on, uh, on Mavericks. So we'll start that off. To do that, you actually need to use a um, application called Bootcamp. Now you can go to Finder and type in Bootcamp here, and then you can run the Bootcamp Assistant. Or if you wanted to go, click on Go, go to Utilities, and you can run Bootcamp from here. Once started, it should come up with the Bootcamp Assistant. You would just want to click Continue. All right. What we want to do is we want to download the latest Windows support software from Apple. Okay. So the support software is designed specifically for each Mac. It is required to fully support Windows and includes bootcamp drivers that will let you use your Apple keyboard, mouse, trackpad, and built-in camera. If you create a Windows 7 or later version of an installed disk from a USB flash drive, the support software is copied to it. Otherwise, you will need an external drive formatted as an MS-DOS FAT drive. Now I just want to go over that real quick guys because a lot of people get stuck on this part. If we go to go and go to utilities, go into disk utility and now you see my disk uh, utility here that I've actually got a, a one gigabyte iFlash media USB drive okay and it's called untitled okay and that's the same one that you see here on, on the screen okay. So this is one, gig, one gigabyte in size and if I open that, there's actually nothing in it at the moment. I've just formatted everything. So if we go back here, now if you have a one gig or larger uh, USB drive, you should be able to get away with, with one gig or larger. If you just click on, on, the, on the drive, go to Erase Partition, and you'll have here, make sure that the, the uh, partition is MS-DOS, or sorry, you're formatting the drive as MS-DOS FAT, okay? The reason why you need this is so that it will it can be read in both OS X and Windows, okay? Because it's going to have the Windows support software on it, and make sure that you well you can just name it anything that doesn't really matter, and then click on Erase, and uh, you should be good to go, okay? So we'll just close those. All right. So what we want to do is we want to download the latest Windows support software from Apple, and we want to install Windows 7, okay? Uh, it actually says Windows 7 here because this is an older Mac. Uh, I'm going to put in a, a Windows uh, Windows 8.1 64-bit uh, DVD, and we're going to install that. Now, if you don't have a copy of, of Windows, you can actually download uh, a preview copy from the 123MyIT website, and I'll show you that now. If you scroll down and you go into Downloads, all right, and then you scroll down to where it says Windows 8.1, and then Windows 8.1 blue, and then we've got the license key here, and then you can also download 64-bit, or you can download the 32-bit. All right, once that's done, we can hit continue. All right, the destination disk, okay, so the Windows support software will actually download to this USB here. Okay, so we've selected it, we wanna go continue. All right, and it will actually go ahead and start downloading um, all the software to this uh, USB here. Okay guys, so um, just sort of switched across to the webcam here and it says now saving Windows support software. If I click on the untitled, you'll actually see this Windows support software folder in here, okay? And that's, that's the folder that contains all your drivers for Windows to work properly uh, with your Mac, okay? So if you have any problems with drivers, a touchpad, Wi-Fi doesn't work, 
go into here, go into this Windows support software folder and under drivers try running all the drivers that uh, populate in there when you're when you're actually logged in with Windows okay um, that's pretty important a lot of people miss that um, most of the time it will install fine if you have a later version of Mac uh, MacBook Pro um, you know anything from probably 2013 to 2014 models um, should be fine you shouldn't need to run those drivers but uh, if you're using earlier versions um, you know any any earlier versions of Macs, um, you can still install the software, but you may not be so lucky with all the drivers. Um, however, you should be able to find the majority of drivers should work if you go into your untitled um, your USB drive. Go into the Windows support software drivers, and you should be able to find it in here. Okay. While that's saving the Windows support software, um, so I mentioned before how you go to the one two three MyIT website and download. Uh, a version or a copy of the Windows 8.1 it's a bit hard to see there but download the, the version uh, of Windows 8.1 64-bit and uh, burn it to a DVD I don't know if I mentioned that or not before or you can use the ISO file if you know how to do that you can also install from the ISO file um, but burn it to a DVD if you've got a DVD ROM it seems to be the easiest version and then once we go to the next step here, after this saves all the software to the um, USB stick, um, we'll then pop in the DVD and we'll be able to install Windows 8. Okay guys, so uh, you can see it's uh, kind of fast forwarded there now, it wants a password, so we want to put in our password there and then click on add helper. Okay, the installer disk could not be found, so we want to pop that in now. So pop in your DVD, All right, click OK. Alright, and then now you can see that the, this download the latest support software from Apple is now not ticked, and we just have this install Windows 7, but in our case it's going to be Windows 8.1. Okay, so once the uh, Windows support software is downloaded to your USB, if you go into Go, go to Utilities, go to Disk Utility. Once Disk Utility opens, if you go into and click on your hard drive, and we want to partition the hard drive All right. so at the moment it's just one hard drive, one big partition we want to click on this plus symbol we want to make it two partitions but for the second partition we want to call the name and call it Windows Windows 8.1 we want to change the format of it and we want to change it to XFAT and then we want to go apply in partition. All right. Now the reason why we're doing this is so that uh, Windows will be able to see the partition. All right. So once that's done, we want to close it down. Close this down. Make sure you've got your Windows DVD in, as we do here. We're going to do a restart, and then as we're doing a restart, we're holding down the Alt or the Option button on your Mac. Alright, so we're still holding down the Alt and Option button. We want to go across to our Windows DVD that we've got in the drive. We want to press Enter. And now what should happen is we're boot into the Windows CD and hopefully our Windows will be able to recognize the partition that we just created on our hard drive. Okay, so once we're logged into Windows here, Select your country, go next, install now. All right. Put in the serial key. Now you can also get this from the 123MyIT website and then uh, hit enter on your keyboard or you can also click on it, click next. All right. Accept the terms and agreements, click next. Go down to custom install. All right, and now we should be able to see partition that we created. So this was our Windows 8.1 partition and it's a primary partition, 116 gig. Let's go format. Click OK. All right, we format it because we want it to be an NT, uh, NTFS partition, not XFAT anymore, and then we go next. All right, and then our Windows should start to install now. Now this will take probably around about 30 minutes. So go make yourself a cup of tea, come back, 
and uh, it should be all installed then. Okay, once that's done, you just hit restart now. So if you just hold down your Alt and Option key, and then move across to your Windows partition, and then hit return. Okay, so we'll have to go in and set up Windows, so we'll just type in our name, so call it 123 my IT, and then click on next. Uh, you can join your Wi Fi if you want to, pop in your Wi Fi password. Alright, just go use Express Settings. I'm just going to click on Don't Create and Don't Have an Account. Sign in without a Microsoft account. Just put in our name, 123myit, don't need a password, maybe we do. Choose a different username, can't be the same as the PC name, okay so we'll just call it my IT. Alright, and finalising your settings. Okay guys, so there you have it, so we're actually logged in now. Now the reason why we've had to do a workaround for this is because um, this is an old Mac, this is a 2010 Mac, so in theory Apple only wants you to be able to install Windows 7 on it, okay? So uh, if you're running Mavericks, um, you will have to actually go into Disk Utility and create the partition yourself. Bootcamp won't do it for you, which is funny because Bootcamp uh, would actually create that partition for you. So um, the next thing to do, guys, is is once you've actually booted into Windows, you need to actually go into your folders menu, go into Explorer, and we've got our untitled disk here. Now, remember before I was talking a little bit about uh, about the drivers. Okay, these are all our drivers here for our machine. What you want to do is go down and right click on start and go to uh, device manager already and in here you'll see these are all your um, drivers that aren't working so anything with an asterisk beside it won't work properly okay so if we want to fix that what we can do is we can run this setup now this may or may not work it should work for the majority of people but you've got to remember that these are drivers uh, for Windows 7, not Windows 8.1. Alright, so as you can see here, we've come up with compatibility issues. However, if we really wanted to, we can go back into here, go into our Apple uh, drivers here, and we can actually run these these uh, drivers here. So let's see, if we've got uh, uh, Bluetooth USB host controller, then we could run any one of these if we just run them go yes okay and run all of these until these drivers with the asterisks disappear alright guys now the other thing as well that you uh, need to do when you want to restart the machine um, normally when boot camp installs you'll actually have a bit of software on here which will allow you to um, select your uh, partition that you want to boot into so when I say partition I mean either boot into OS X or boot into Windows 8.1 um, what you can do is just uh, if you want to boot into uh, um, Windows 8.1 just hold down your alt or option key as you restart so let's go real quick and just restart Okay, I'm holding down my Alt or Option key now on my keyboard. 
All right, and then you can see that we've got our Windows partition here or our Mac partition. So if we want to boot into any of these, we can just hold down our Alt Option key and then hit Enter. Select the one, select the drive that we want to go into, and it will boot into the operating system that we want to boot into. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. It's a bit of a workaround for installing it on an older Mac. Um, however, if you've got a newer, uh, newer uh, MacBook Pro, then you shouldn't really have, um, you shouldn't need to use these workarounds. You should be able to just uh, install Windows 8 um, through the Boot Camp Assistant. Um, so that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so if this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.